I mean, I'm just as much interested in the politics of why he's considering this as I am whether or not something like this could ever work, given the power of the tobacco industry. So interested on, on, on your thoughts on both of those counts, Hassan and Slough in Berkshire. Hello. About uh, what is the politics behind yeah. this? I you think, think? I'm, I'm hoping that the politics will be that different political parties will actually unite uh, and this become a cross-party initiative. Mm. There really shouldn't be any political disagreements there. And what appears to be a, a, a leak, uh, I don't think it should be a leak, it, it should be a manifesto initiative. Uh, about 12 years ago, I used to work for a ph pharmaceutical company where I promoted a, a stop smoking drug. So I'm really passionate about stop smoking. And I've always held the view that smoking should eventually be banned. I mean, over the last 30 years, various governments have set up initiatives uh, through education to reduce the amount of smoking and the prevalence of smoking has actually reduced which will mean uh, it'll lead to an eventual ban. And I, I, I'm always amazed with Forrest. They are a very, very sophisticated uh, PR lobby. Yeah. And when he talks, um, your gentleman Simon, he talked about choice. Um, I think the choice uh, to, to kill is, you know, you have a ch talk about freedom of choice. Choice for what? In terms of cigarettes, people uh, will uh, eventually die if, if they are addicted to smoking. So to uh, encourage people to have that choice so they can actually uh, move away from that addiction is a, a good choice to make. Hassan, and stay there. Hassan, stay there. Just stay on the line. Hassan in Slough. James in Glasgow. You've just heard from Hassan. He knows quite a lot about this. And he says it's an absolute no-brainer. Um, well, um, my turn. Do you want to do me to direct or just get my story or how to... Well, ad address, address Hassan's point that it's no-brainer, that actually a ban will work. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how that would work. Um, do you mean just a, a blanket ban? No, it's phasing it in over a number of years. Um, I think when you said earlier, maybe increasing the age that you could buy each year, mm. that might be a way of doing it. Um, I can see that. You can see that, okay. Because you used to be a smoker, is that right? I did. I smoked for over 20 years um, and stopped in 2006. And then stupidly, um, I started again seven years later and haven't stopped. Now, I am well aware that it's an absolute disgusting habit and I'll be the first to say that. But um, how I feel in this policy, what I wonder, um, and... One of you, um, call it, I think the person from Ash was saying about education. Now, um, I was in secondary school in the 1980s. We were told about the dreams of this. Oh, um, James, we can't hear you. I'm going to try and get you back on a better line, James, in Glasgow. Thank you. Hassan, you've just heard James there saying he, wa he was a, a lapsed um, uh, smoker, somebody who, who yeah. was smoking and then um, gave up and then to his shame start smoking again and he says yeah. education would be a better policy. Is he right? Uh, no, he, he is absolutely correct. Uh, education has to go hand in hand with the eventual uh, phasing out but uh, let me congratulate James actually because he said he did actually uh, give up before he restarted but that's a massive, massive step uh, in the right direction. He's done it before he can do it again so completely encourage him to um, try try again and you will be successful. Um, when Simon talked about prohibition, that's just a scare tactic. Uh, prohibition did not work, obviously, because it was a sudden implementation of banning alcohol. Obviously, it's not going to work when a lot of people are used to drinking alcohol socially. This is a, a, I see this as an eventual ban through education, encouragement uh, over a, a period of time. And I think it's about time that uh, a, a ban was actually discussed. It won't happen now, mm. but it certainly should be a policy commitment. Uh, can I make a last point about yeah, yeah. Uh, the Forest's rubbish PR? Um, a few years ago, I heard Forrest um, talk about, um, you know, stressed out doctors and nurses in the NHS who do require some form of relief through, through smoking. Fine. Um, so what? he was repositioning uh, smoking as, <laughs> as a service <laughs> for stressed out doctors and nurses. And I thought, wow. What an uncouth, uh, you know, unsophisticated PR machine Forrest is. If there is desperation, he talked about Richard Sunak being desperate. It is a smoking lobby. It is smoking companies that are desperate uh, because they know they're going to lose uh, customers. So uh, I, I certainly won't uh, lose sleep over it. Uh, Hassan Islam, Bach, thank you very much indeed.